bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free Alrighty, so it is like quarter after five and this feels like such a late start to the day, but honestly, it was not. I was up just after nine and out of the house just after 10 and my friend and I just went hiking, which obviously you already saw that footage. We ended up hiking in a bunch of different places. We first tried to find this like shell trail, like a trail, sorry, fossil trail, and we couldn't find it. So we went to the beach and then we went for lunch and then we just like wandered and drove random places, found random trails. And um, yeah, so my body hurts. I think we did like 7K today total, which is pretty impressive. I think that means I don't have to do my <laughs> fitness workout today, which I'm totally okay with. Maybe I'll still do it because I do really like doing it, but also my body can probably use a break because my arms are sore today. But that is where we are at. I feel like I need to do laundry. I just because today's my day off and it's like my only day off. I like I work another five in a row or something. But I was like, I need to do laundry. I need to get my life in order. And I thought we were just gonna go for a short hike and then it ended up being like the longest hike ever, which is totally fine. It was great. It was a good day. It was a fantastic day. We even got Starbucks at one point. So like lunch and Starbucks, aces. But I do kind of feel like I wasted a bit of the day, but I shouldn't feel that way. It's just how my brain is programmed to be like, oh, I didn't do stuff on the computer or whatever. So I think I'm going to chill for a bit because like I just walked in the door, maybe stretch out some muscles, drink some water because I had a water bottle, but I finished that like halfway through the day and, and didn't have another one. So do that, probably go on my computer for a bit because I like haven't been on my computer all day and figure out what's important for me to do today. Also, I heard back from my friend who's short story I edit it and she doesn't hate me which is great because I'm always afraid that if I'm truthful and I say hey these are things that are wrong people are gonna hate me but so far so good anyways I'm gonna try to be a little bit productive and I'll check in with you in a little bit hopefully <laughs> well I feel like today is just not a day of doing anything because it is quarter to nine and besides eating dinner I have done nothing so when I was cooking dinner I checked social media and there was an update on the place that I work and because there has been a ban in BC on any gatherings over 250 people, we cancelled. <laughs> There's a show going on tonight um, because everybody was already in the venue, but like the, the staff and the artists. But yeah, we're no shows from tomorrow until April 30th. So I think that means I'm unemployed now. <laughs> I don't know the specifics yet because obviously they just need it to get everything out to the patrons right away, especially people who had tickets for the upcoming shows um, about cancellation slash rescheduling. And so at this point, I don't really know what future my job holds. I'm going to be fine. <laughs> my boss has already stated that his intention is to take care of the staff if this happened and it has now happened. And also I'm pretty sure there's like no wait time if you need to go on unemployment insurance, if that's the case. So that's where we're at. Um, I was also talking to Strudel's mom and I told her that I am unemployed, whatever that means right now. <laughs> And she was like, just come out here, it's fine. Um, and then she sent me a picture of Strudel, which is a good, good argument. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. I obviously, with a show going on tonight, my boss will probably have his hands full, especially as all this information has just come out. <laughs> and so maybe I'll find out tomorrow. If not, hopefully by Monday, I will have an answer as to what our shutdown in relation to COVID-19 means for me personally going forward, especially considering it looks like we're not going to have any shows between now 
and the end of April. <laughs> so it should be interesting. It'll be interesting, like, are they going to keep the box office open despite not having tickets on sale, even though they do, they can sell tickets still for the fall. So I don't know. It'll be really interesting to see what happens. I should at least have, like, a shift a week, if nothing else, because even though I'm part-time casual, I do have usually about four hours guaranteed a week to get stuff done. But we'll see what happens going forward. So I just wanted to update because <laughs> that's where we're at. I'm not panicked. I'm not freaking out. I am fine. Even if I don't get paid, I've been, you know, saving money. <laughs> so I'll be fine. And I will just focus on important things like writing my books. And also I do do remote invoicing and remote work. So, you know, I'm going to eat. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. One of the first things that I want to do, though, in the coming days is check with my grandma because my grandma is definitely in the vulnerable category and so I'm gonna see what she needs for food and I'm gonna go buy her food and I'm gonna go bring her food so she doesn't have to leave her house <laughs> um, if she doesn't want to and also like if I end up on under quarantine for some reason even though we only have I think one confirmed case on the island if I do end up under quarantine or other people end up under quarantine that like sh hopefully she'll be okay while we cannot go visit her so that's where we're at new things today and I just I don't feel like I'm gonna do anything today I was gonna do laundry but now that I'm not working this weekend or ever <laughs> I don't know um I'll just do it on the weekend I have to work tomorrow but after that who knows so hopefully I'll get some answers tomorrow but we will see I'm just gonna I, I don't know what I want to do maybe play some video games I don't know I'm feeling a little like today was a weird day because I ended up going out and hiking for a lot longer than I intended to like I think we did like 7k total over the course of the day and then now this this is like big news even though like I said I'm gonna be fine it's still big news so I'm gonna go chill for a bit and I'll check in with you somewhere along the way alrighty so I look really orange Is that better? I don't know. Anyways, I was just texting with my aunt and I work with her and she was working tonight and she thinks that we'll have answers tomorrow, which is exciting because right now I'm like assuming that answers won't come till Monday about the COVID situation at the theater and what we're doing going forward, but maybe tomorrow. So that's exciting. I also did sit down and I edit it. I edit it. How many words? Just under 6,000 words. So that's exciting because as you know, my goal is 5,000 words a day, but I haven't been doing it. And I just did the math and to finish by the end of the month, I still have to edit like 5,800 words each day, which is a lot of words. Obviously it's doable because I did like 5,900 today, but it's only doable if I do it. <laughs> Key. But again, being off work probably give me a little bit more time. <laughs> and I'm currently at just shy of 25,000 words edited. So we're doing well. Another just under 10,000 and we hit the 100,000 mark. So that is exciting. And I mean 100,000 left, not 100,000 edited because that math would not work. But I'm feeling all right about things. I'm hoping that this book can go bye-bye once I finish editing it so I don't have to look at it for a while but we will see what happens. I'm gonna to try to really push through here and get it done as quickly as possible because stop dragging your feet is basically what it is. It is currently about 10 to 10 now. I think I'm gonna jump in the shower because I was gonna shower yesterday and then I was like, no, 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 no. Just shower when you get up in the morning. And then I was super lazy. I was supposed to meet up with my friend at 10. I obviously got out of bed at like quarter after nine. And then he texted me and told me that he got up late and so we ended up not going out or meeting up until like quarter after 10 or something. So I probably could have showered, but I didn't. But it is fine. <laughs> so I think we jump in the shower now and then just kind of get myself ready for tomorrow. I'm just like, I'm thinking because like I'm working with someone tomorrow and so I'm like, how are we going to communicate from like 10 feet away? in the middle of the lobby, just like, okay, I need you to do this. <laughs> I don't know, so, uh, anyways, I'm fine at, was it social isolating because, or distancing, because I don't like people anyways. I mean, I do like people, I like some people. I don't need to be close to people. Dogs, yes, people, I'm good. <laughs> anyway, I'm like just tangenting so weird. I'm gonna jump in the shower and I will check in with you before I go to sleep. I'm really bad at not touching my face. 
It's fine, I'm at home and I've washed my hands recently. <laughs> Alrighty, it is the end of the night now. I think it's like 10 to 11. Whoops. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna call it here. I'm just updating my computer because it has been begging me to update it for days. And I keep going, yeah, go ahead. And then it's like, no, I'm good. And I'm like, why? Anyway, I talked to my aunt and it sounds like tomorrow I should find out more news about the situation going forward and maybe like this isn't a shock for me and like I don't know if it was like if I seemed cavalier like oh whatever it'll be fine this isn't a shock for me <laughs> we've been talking about this at work for weeks now what the protocol is going forward what we're gonna do and I talked with my boss the other day and so like it's not a surprise I saw this coming I know it'll be okay. There's no need to panic or worry. It's just a matter of if I'm going to have shifts going forward or if I'm not. That's all I really am uncertain about. So that's where we're at. We're good. We'll make it through. Um, already, I think I mentioned it, Strudel's mom was like, just come up here. There's very few people up here. Just come up here. I'm like, I don't think there's a job for me up there. But yes, Strudel. Anyway, that's where we're at. I'm going to go to sleep now. And I will see you next time. <laughs> Good night. If you look in the background here, I kind of look like a really bad hoarder. I have pop and juice. And then just like a huge sack of chips. There's so many chips there. Okay, so we were at the store and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get more pop. Even though I already have like almost half a flat, I do drink pop. And bottles, I know. I know. But, you know, if we're being honest, and the chips were mostly for D&D, &D, <laughs> but <laughs> we did go shopping today. We um, just kind of figured that it was probably a good idea to go shopping and just get some stuff in the event that somebody in the house does end up isolated. Oh, by the way, I'm editing the vlog right now, and I just have an update from work and stuff, so I wanted to pop on and talk a little bit more about it. But yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous. I have no idea where I'm going to put all that stuff. But yeah, we did a nice grocery shop today, so we've got food, like I said, for a while. I touched base with my grandma. She says she is fine. She's got food for like a month, <laughs> so she should be okay. She's like, but toilet paper. She's like, I have it for like a month, but toilet paper. I was like, all right, well, if I come across any, I got you. Anyway, so today I wanted to work. Um, I worked for a couple hours, I think like five hours or something, and I thought my boss was going to come in, but he works at other theaters up and down the island, so he did not, so I gave him a call, and I thought it was going to be like, it was a short call, but we covered a lot, because we only talked for like 16-ish minutes on the phone, but basically I was supposed to work tomorrow, I'm going to take tomorrow off. I'm going to go in Sunday and then there's a kids theater camp that we're still proceeding with uh, because it's spring break and the school district did not shut down the school. So we're going to proceed with that. So to mitigate contact and everything, I'm going to come in the evenings or afternoons to work. And then basically the plan is everybody who has all the lists of things that need to get done and we can't do during the season because it's so busy and we can't do during the summer because now summer is getting more busy we're gonna just try to tackle them all in the next month and a half that is asterisk contingent on board approval so we are a society so we are run by a board so if the board is like no <laughs> then no shifts <laughs> and it is what it is but we are again like I said shut down to events the box office is going to be shut down as well so after this next week where we have all the school kids and everything in there will be no more public in the theater until the end of April obviously when I talked to my boss today he did say that's a flexible date so if like tomorrow I mean obviously it won't happen but say like next week the government goes okay we're lifting the ban then we'll reevaluate but for this point April 30th we are cancelled until and then assuming on May 1st um, that we'll just go ahead with operations as planned so today the box office was really busy they had two box office clerks in to answer phones and deal with refunds and anything basically they're trying to be like guys just wait we're gonna try to reschedule everything but some people are like no give me back my money right now 
So <laughs> that's my update. Still currently employed. I'm actually working one extra shift this week than I was supposed to, I think. No, I think it might be the same. I think it was just... I was supposed to be off Wednesday and now I'm off Friday instead, so whatever. I'm, we're, we're closed out and I'm working six days. Still, I don't know. Anyways, I'm not complaining about it and I get tomorrow off, which is great because I really just want to sleep in. Oh, I also bought, because if I need to self-isolate, got myself Just Dance <laughs> because you got to keep yourself entertained. Um, and then what else? Yeah, so we did do some grocery shopping, like I said, so we are good to go had dandy tonight and honestly I don't plan on leaving the house tomorrow and because we're good and we have food I intend to limit my contact with the outside world. Again from what I've heard we don't really have many if like there's one confirmed case that I know of on the island so still should be fine but you know I'm all for not leaving the house so I'm just gonna stay here and it'll be good and I'm not mad about it. Like I said earlier and yesterday like I'm gonna be fine no matter what happens I'm gonna be fine I'm gonna get through this which is exciting but I do have respiratory issues so you know might as well mitigate things if I can so that's where we're at just wanted to update tomorrow's gonna be a lazy slug a bed day I might vlog because why not <laughs> And if so, I will see you then. And if not, I will see you when I see you. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Good night.